Artery Gear Fusion is currently the new hotness in the global gotcha scene. Tons of people are going to be trying it and tons of people are going to be playing it. I know a lot of those individuals will probably play the game pretty casually and won't look hardly anything up. But some of those individuals may want to have the best start possible. Want to know how to power up their account make themselves beefy, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to tell you exactly how to re-roll and who you should be rolling for. And oh yeah, if you already know how to re-roll and you just want to know who to re-roll for, there'll be chapters down below in the description that you guys can click so you go to the exact point in the video that you want to go to so you don't waste any of your time. But without further ado, let me tell you first how to re-roll on mobile and emulators. The way how you re-roll on mobile is quite simple. You go over here to the tab menu. Click settings, go over here to account, player center, and we're going to be clicking upgrade, which may seem a little weird. You click upgrade platform, and then it will bring you to this. So since you never signed up, I'm going to click sign up. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your email address. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend using your main email, whatever you want that to be, to link to this account. Or maybe you want to link this account to Google. If that's the case, then you can ignore what I'm about to say. I highly recommend that you use a alt email. That way, if you do get a good account, then you can bind it to your main email. That's just a little bit of a warning for y'all. So we're going to type in our actual email address here you have our actual email address plus our password then we're going to click next and now it will send you a confirmation email to the email that you just used to set up the account go over to your email click the email that they just sent you verify your account and you're going to go back into the game you can click next and it'll say congrats account bound now what you will do is you will actually click log out and we're going to click guest login again you see how we're doing this right now and now look here we are back at the beginning of the game selecting our server doing our thing but here's the thing that's not the end of it there's something else that you'll need to do if you want to continue re-rolling using that dummy account and i'm about to show you exactly what that is oh by the way you can skip the tutorials so uh yeah that'd be pretty useful for you so here we are we're back at the beginning and the way how you would do this again you go into settings go into account and you're gonna go to player center and you're gonna go through the same exact process you're gonna click upgrade and you're gonna click upgrade platform account and you're gonna click sign up again and you're gonna use the exact same email that you just used and you're gonna add a plus one and this will actually fool the system to thinking this is a unique email but it's not it's the same email that we just used but this is what it's going to constantly send all of the verification emails to and you're going to click next and then once you do that look it says confirm and then you just click confirm or verify again just like that in your other email and then boom account bound this time the only thing you have to do is add a plus one and then everything following this i think you have to go like plus two plus three plus four you guys get it you know that's how you do it if you're doing it the email way so for all my people on pc that's using the emulator method how exactly do you do it the way how you do it is fairly simple now you can do this right out the gate or you could wait till you know your first reroll to do it i don't think it really matters but here's what you'll do i highly recommend you do this on ld player if possible just because it already comes pre-installed with a root which is what we're going to be using to abuse this current reroll process so if you're on ld player let me show you very simple but if you're not on LD player, don't worry. It's pretty much the same steps, but it may just be a little bit different for your emulator. What we're going to do is we're going to close out of Artery Gear Fusion here. So the thing you're going to do on LD player now is we're going to go into settings, which is the cog wheel here. Go down to other settings, and then you see where it says root permission. We're going to click enable that and save settings, and it will say that we would need to restart the emulator. So we're going to restart it. Now, since we have the root enabled, what you're going to be doing is going to be clicking on system app and file manager. If you don't have this on your LD player by default, you just go to the google play store type in file manager and you can probably find a ton of different ones you can download and what we're going to be looking for here is going to be the data folder so as you see here here's data and we're going to be looking for another data folder there it is data now we're looking for the artery gear folder which should be there it is as you see here the com file with artery gear we're going to click that and the only thing we're going to do is you see this shared preference i'm going to hold down on it and it's going to bring up all these things i'm going to click delete and we're going to click yes and then boom it's done and then with that, if we go back onto Artery Gear, we'll click Agree to All, and then it should start the game. And as you see, this is like we've never played the game before. You know, there is no account on this exact version. As you see, it's asking me to select a server again. We're going to click American, and we're going to click OK, and then it's going to load. We're going to do Guest Login, and click OK again. Just like that, we're back in the game. We're ready to reroll that's how you do it now if you wanted to make this even faster than what i just showed you you could technically do this where you hold control and two at the same time and it's going to bring up this menu here and what you could do is you could technically take this and you could clone this ld player and by the way you're probably going to want to do this before you even start the game before you even like log back into it for an example let's click it and then we're going to click that click clone 
and then you could open and then you could either just have them saved so you can just instantly go through all of them whenever you want to or there is actually a way for you to mirror all of the ld players so you can have like five of them running at the same time but i'm not for sure exactly how to do it if you guys know how to do it please leave it down below in the comment section it'll help out tons of people but yeah this is the thing you can do so you have a bunch of clones ready to go and you don't have to do that process every single time uh by the way make sure you do that before you log back in onto artery gear but hold up wait real quick I know all of you guys just obtained this newfound knowledge. You're ready to go see the world. I know you're eager, but hey, man, listen to me real quick. If you want to know the best way, not like, you know, how to reroll anything, but when you should, when is the time that I should probably start the reroll process? To me personally, what I myself did, I didn't see if anybody else did this, but I'm assuming a lot of people did. If you want to get a multi's worth of currency, because currently at launch, we actually won't get a multi's worth of currency. Technically, we will if you log in for multiple days, but if you're rerolling, you know, you're not trying to do that. If you want to get a multi's worth of currency, around chapter 2-3 2-4 that should be around the time you get a multi's worth of summon currency then, you know once you get your multi go over here to recruit do your summons and if you don't like what you get you restart which i know that one's gonna take a lot longer so a lot of people just doing single summons but i personally like doing the 10 summon route myself just because in this game every 10 summons guarantees you at least a four star or above which allowed me to get sura literally on my first multi summon it's completely up to you but that's just the way how i did it so i wanted to add it in on the video so congratulations you now understand how to re-roll and now comes the question who to re-roll for and depending on what you want to do depending on how high your patience is you know how much tolerance you got it's gonna be different from person to person maybe you want to re-roll for your favorite waifu maybe you want to re-roll for meta wherever the case may be it's entirely up to you but if you want to know the best possible re-roll you could get it's actually neither one of these banner units here that you see however the main re-roll target the one that will give you the quote unquote god account will be re-rolling for Sirius. But not only just getting Sirius, but also getting a four star known as Alice. If you get an account with Sirius and Alice right out the gate, you are cruising, my friend. You are vibing so hard. And you may say, why Sirius? Why Alice? Well, Sirius herself is actually a pretty cracked damage dealer. She's extremely fast. She's able to cycle her turns very easily. She does really good damage. And she's also future proof. Like even to this day in the Chinese and Japanese servers, she is still one of the highest rated units in the entire game, like still tier zero since launch. And let me just say, if you've been in the gacha game scene, that's almost unheard of. A launch unit still being like one of the best units in the game. But like I mentioned before, she is not featured on a banner. So her pull rate is extremely low. Like I'm talking about, you see this right here? That says 0.12. As for Alice, the reason why she is so good and the reason why you're going to be wanting her early on is because she's one of the best supporting characters in the game at the moment. Unfortunately, she will get power creep later on down the line. I mean, what can you do? She's a four star. But for right now, like I mentioned, she is extremely strong. And the reason why she's so strong is because she's able to give an ally an extra turn and an attack buff. So as soon as she goes, you could put this, let's say, for an example, on your Sirius. Sirius will then, whenever she comes back around, get an attack buff plus the extra turn. And you can see what happens, right? It just kind of keeps going. Another thing to mention, too, is that Alice is also capable of slowing down the enemies and also is able to constantly just buff up the speed of your allies it means that your team's going to be able to deal more damage quicker and be able to beat bosses or if you're playing pvp be able to beat other teams quicker than what other people are doing if they don't have alice and most people will tell you that if you're not going to reroll for serious you should at least try your hardest to get alice in your reroll summon but let's say you're someone that doesn't have that kind of patience well there's a few other five stars that you could try to get alongside Alice, and you don't just have to worry about only getting serious because she is an off banner unit. And those two five stars are actually the two units that are featured on the banners currently, which are Shura and Milvis. I would highly recommend that you look at both of these kits just to make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into, or you could just go with whichever design you like more. But both these units have been top tier ever since they've released on the Chinese and Japanese version of the game, just not as strong as someone like Sirius. So you could go for one of these, or you could go for a strap. Well, maybe you go for serious or a banner unit and you just kind of wing it and be like okay whichever one i get first i'll just go with that but just make sure above all else if you want to have the best start possible that you at least get alice and then whatever five star that you want but that's just for the regular banner ladies and gentlemen what about the infinite reroll banner this one is really simple the main five star you're going to be wanting is ginga ginga is actually a damage there that scales her damage based on each debuff the target has and her herself she's able to inflict quite a bit of debuffs on her own and she's going to help you out a ton later on down the line whenever you start farming hunts 
for gear, she'll be one of the best characters for it, and she's gonna be really great for pretty much any type of boss killing you need to do. However, her alone is not the only thing you want to be looking out for in the infinite reroll gotcha. If possible, there's a few three stars. Yep, you heard me right. There's a few three stars that you really, really want. First and foremost, we got the girl Grace. The reason why you want Grace is she is one of the best fodder farmers in the game if you played other games like epic 7 it's very similar to what you're going to be doing in this game in terms of leveling up fodder feeding fodder into other fodder to star up other characters from five to six star and stuff like that and grace being the way she is she's in a really good cleave unit very strong in pve and pretty solid in pvp as well but definitely make sure that you get her if you can she'll make your life so much easier as for the next three star that you're going to want is actually roko now roko the reason why you're going to want this girl is that she is a single target behemoth she's a little bit similar to ginga except she is a green unit so of course she counters blue bosses and she actually scales her damage off the of debuffs as well however it's only one debuff which is corrosion and she's able to apply quite a bit of corrosion herself based on the amount of corrosion an enemy has she will be able to deal more damage and also grant herself extra turns and she's also able to reduce the cooldowns of all of her skills meaning that you're able to just keep going and keep ramping up the damage as quickly as possible and then the final unit that you must have have. The last three star that if you could get if possible is going to be the girl Timmy. Timmy is an extremely good PvP unit because she is one of the fastest units in the entire game. And the reason why she's a must have because in PvP, she'll pretty much allow you to almost guarantee that your units move first compared to the enemy units. That's the main the reason why you want her. Apart from that, she's not really used in PvE at all, mainly a PvP unit. And then once you got all that, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You're done. Woo. Jesus, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. But now you know how to reroll and who to get in artery gear. Of course, this will probably change as we get more units, as we get newer banners and stuff like that, but the basic premise should more than likely always stay sound. Also, by the way, I want to say a huge shout out to arterygear.info. That's where all of this information came from. The site's great, by the way. It has tons of information on there, tons of things that you could read, learn, all that type of stuff about artery gear. It's going to make your life so much easier. I highly recommend you check out that website if you have the extra time. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I just really like the resources and everything else they provide to the community. But if you guys found this video informative, helpful, the case may be, amen. Consider liking the video. It helps out the channel quite a bit. Also gets this video pushed around to the recommended and everything so people can see it if they're playing Artery Gear. And if you like the content, hey, why not also consider sticking around? I'm planning on making even more Artery Gear content in the future. So if you're subscribed, you can be ready for whenever all that new content drops. But that's going to be it for this video, though, fam. Thank you all again for coming out. If you enjoyed this one, I highly recommend you check out either one of the videos popping up on your screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you'll love them. And Oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.